this is Rosalie, mom of eight kids. I've been getting a lot of criticism on my channel and I was thinking last night about the warm people who support me and care and have said such beautiful things to comfort me and I really really appreciate it. I was thinking in bed, I was thinking what could I do to show them my gratitude. So what I did today is I wrote a poem. I wrote a poem for you and I'm going to share that with you in a little bit here. Some people have been spreading rumors that I've been deleting comments and I haven't been deleting anybody's comment. I know that YouTube will delete comments if it deems it inappropriate and that would happen without notice. So check your comment. If you don't see it, maybe it was deleted by YouTube because I have not been deleting anything. Question is why I would leave my husband on the floor as long as I did. And one of the th prescriptions that he had was a sleeping pill. And so he would take that sleeping pill that the doctor gave to him and he would fall asleep around the house. And that's why I was used to him sleeping around the house. So when I left him on the floor, he was snoring loudly. And I went downstairs into the basement and I was organizing some cans of food because we have a small kitchen because our home is small and we have our pantry downstairs in the basement. I was down there 20 minutes and I don't want to fall prey to guilt because I know this is nobody's fault what happened but I came upstairs and I noticed that he was quiet so in one of my previous shorts he's snoring very loudly and that would happen when he would take his pills what he's supposed to be taking it would make him snore loud and so when he was quiet that's when I called the ambulance and yes they told me to do CPR. They didn't call it CPR, they called it heart palpitations. And I spoke to a nurse later on, um, after he passed. And I said that we were trying our best and she said it probably wouldn't have done much anyway. So that's the story, he was definitely alive. He was snoring. He wasn't passed out. I don't think that you can snore if you're passed out or unconscious. And as I said, when I came upstairs, I called the ambulance. I gave all of his pills that he was on to the police and they handed it to the uh, paramedics when they came. So I haven't been trying to hide anything. Uh, another question is, why was I so afraid of the autopsy results? I wasn't afraid of the autopsy results. I just didn't understand why the police were at my door when the results were not expected back for months. So, of course, in that moment, my brain was trying to think, well, what would they be doing here? So that's what it thought of. Again, I haven't done anything. Um... I have been uh, on guard with uh, people of authority because I've had some bad experiences. I've witnessed some police that have been biased when they shouldn't have been. I have witnessed somebody being falsely accused and so um, I could tell you those stories in another video. I want to say that this is the largest collection of compassionate people I have ever seen in my life. And I've taken the social workers program at college like 20 years ago. So I am so, so grateful to all of you. Uh, I really am. And so I was thinking, what could I do for them to show my appreciation, my heartfelt appreciation. And so I came up with this poem today. <laughs> it took me a few hours. Um, it's called Life After Death. That's the title and it has two meanings. Uh, life After Death because my husband is 
in heaven and life after death here on earth my life after his death so the pun is intended life after death words cannot express my gratitude so a bunch of metaphors i will elude a maple seed floating on top of the water helpless to which way the water pushes it trying not to descend down the rapids a beacon in a world of gray, that is what you mean to me. Arduously climbing up the side of a mountain with the light on top I see. Love is the creator expressing itself. Love is the connection to life. Without this, there is only more strife. And that's the end. So, I hope you liked it. Uh, I didn't have... That's my daughter. I didn't have months and months to work on it. I only had a few hours today. And so... Mommy, you're done. Yeah, I'm just about done here. Um, so now I've got to put the little ones to bed. I appreciate you for watching. I appreciate you for supporting me. I do love you and thank you so much for your caring and compassion and empathy. That's my daughter. She's bumping the camera. Passion, could you stop?